Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about Llama Index. Now, recently, Flowwise added support for Llama Index in version 1.50, and it is a big deal. And so today, we're going to talk about just a brief overview of what Llama Index is, uh, what it can do for you, and how you can use it with Langchain inside of Flowwise. Now, if you're not familiar with Llama Index, it is a platform that allows you to connect your data to LLMs. And it's similar to Langchain in many ways, but it's also different. And one of the ways that it's different is that it has very powerful uh, search, indexing, and retrieval capabilities. And so it's a great choice for being able to create uh, just a wide variety of AI applications that are really focused on uh, retrieval and working with your data. Now, it offers uh, data ingestion, uh, data indexing, and really a really powerful query interface with the query engine. Uh, and it also supports a wide variety of data sources from unstructured data to uh, semi-structured data and, and structured data. And so, like I said before, it's very, very similar to Langchain, uh, but there are a few key differences. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of Flowwise and show you some of the things that it can do. Now again, this is a very brief overview, and if you'd like to learn more, there's going to be a, a Flowwise webinar at some point uh, where they kind of go into a deeper dive into some of the things that Llama Index can do. But one of the basic things that it can do is that you can search your documents you know, and ask questions. And so today we're going to be talking about the query engine, and more specifically, the response synthesizer. Now this is what really sets Llama Index apart from Langchain in that it really specializes in being able to give you uh, options for how you handle your embeddings and how you handle the text uh, that's used to create the responses. So uh, in this current version, we've got four different types of response synthesizers. And we have the refine synthesizer. We have the, um, the compact and refine. Uh, we've got the simple response builder and we've got the tree summarize. And like I said, when building your applications, the query engine is a lot like your Q&A chain. So you send your query to your embeddings or your vector database. It returns text documents, and then those text documents are used to create the response. And so with the refine response here, we can show you what it's doing. So basically what happens is, is that when your query goes out, it returns these uh, documents or text chunks uh, in this case, nodes. And then what Llama Index does with the uh, refined response synthesizer is that it applies your query and does an LLM call on each individual text chunk. And then it generates an intermediate response. And then it takes that intermediate response and it adds it to the next node. And it does another LLM call. And then from that, it creates another response and so on and so on until you have no more you know, nodes or text chunks. Uh, then it collects all of that information for a final response. And so while you're running a lot more LLM calls, you're also actually um, taking more detail out of your, uh, of your text chunks or your embeddings. Uh, and that creates a really, really detailed response. Now, there's a variation to this, and that's compact and refine. And so with compact and refine, it actually groups your text chunks or your nodes together uh, before generating a uh, response or intermediate response. And what that means is that you basically use fewer LLM calls and it speeds up the process. And so when I was working on this and testing various things out, I found that um, you know even though the refine does give you probably more detail, it also takes a lot longer time. Uh, I was running into a lot of server uh, timeout errors uh, just because it was taking so much time. So what I had to do was I actually had to use Compact and Refine that actually worked much better for me. Uh, it really sped up the response. But um, the next response synthesizer is the Tree Summarizer. And what this does is it basically groups your, your nodes, your text chunks together and creates parent answers before combining everything into a final answer. And so this is very good for being able to essentially summarize information. Um, and so with just these two uh, response synthesizers, you can create some really detailed answers that really get the most out of your, um, the, your knowledge base or your, uh, your documents that you're using. So this is basically what it looks like. 
This is compact and refined. And again, it's very similar to uh, your uh, Q&A chains, uh, where you have your, you know, your vector database and your embeddings. And, um, and then you have this, um, the response synthesizer that allows you to put in your, uh, your prompts, to customize your prompts. Um, and so when we take a look at some of the responses, uh, again, you know, you'll have to sort of test this out and see how it responds or how it, you know, compares to various um, uh, applications, you know, that you're using. But I found that it's the, the answers are really, really detailed. Um, and um, I really loved the responses that it was generating. Um, and so if we go ahead and take a look at Basically, I tried all of the response builders or the response synthesizers uh, inside of Flowwise. And so um, I came up with some pretty similar uh, results. And so it's really a great way of creating applications to help you get the most out of your data. Now, one of the great things about this recent update is that it allows you to use Llama Index along with Langchain inside of your Flowwise applications. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So on one hand, you have Llama Index with its powerful, you know, search indexing features. And so what you would do is you would basically send a query um, through Llama Index to your documents. And then the response that it generates would be combined uh, with your prompt and your original query. And then that would be sent to a, an application inside of Langchain, uh, you know, basically taking an LLM call. And then that would generate a response, and that's what you would use, you know, with your application. So what I did was I actually was able to do this inside of Flowwise, and even though it's not perfect, it kind of shows you some of the potential of what you can do when you combine Llama Index and Langchain together. So in this example, I want to create a really rich, interactive, story-based game that uses all of the elements of game design. And so what I've done is I've downloaded our manual, The Art of Game Design, uh, along with a few other manuals um, that talk about, you know, procedural storytelling, uh, as well as uh, interactive stories and video game art. And I want to use these resources when developing my game. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've uh, basically upserted or, you know, created a vector database for uh, all of my documents. And now what I want to do is I want to be able to query those documents using Llama Index. So I basically created two vector documents, one for my game manual, uh, my art of game design manual, and the other for my uh, storytelling resources. And so I've created two different uh, query engines for both databases. And what I want to do is I want to combine that and I want to use those inside of a Langchain application. So this is the first one. This is my query engine for my game design. And the second one are for my documents on storytelling, all right? And so, uh, as you can see, we, we tested these, and they gave us some great answers for each individual uh, document. Um, I'll show you the other one for the, uh, for the game design. Uh, and so what I really wanted to do was, as I'm developing my game, I want to be able to create sort of like an advisor that can help me as I'm going through the process of you know, creating my game prototype and testing and all those kind of things. Okay, so we wanna connect our Llama Index to our Langchain, and what would be great is if we could simply uh, connect the output of the query engine to say like a prompt template with a Langchain app. And so uh, I'm sure at some point that's gonna be possible, but it's not quite possible yet. Uh, it actually doesn't really, really work. If you actually try to connect a, uh, a Llama Index uh, chain to a Langchain chain, <laughs> it, it doesn't work. But what you can do is you can actually use the JavaScript API functions to basically connect with your Langchain application. So if we go ahead and take a look, on the left-hand side here, we've actually taken um, the JavaScript API for each of our uh, Llama Index you know, chatbots, and we've actually just created a custom JavaScript code that can connect to our Langchain application. So in this case, uh, we're basically passing the response uh, as a variable, and then that variable is going to be used to create our is going to be used to go into our prompt template, uh, along with the other response uh, from our other Llama Index application. So in this way, you can actually connect your Llama Index to your Langchain uh, app and create some really really powerful integrations. 
and if we go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the responses, uh, you can see that um, they're really, really super detailed responses. And more importantly, you can connect, you know, you can connect your uh, Llama Index apps to all of the integration that LangChain provides. And so it's a really, really powerful feature uh, that you can now deploy inside of Flowwise. Um, you know, so you should go ahead and test this out. Um, I did run into some issues because there uh, were some uh, JSON errors that I was getting. So sometimes I would actually run like a query and it would give me a JSON error. And then I would run the query again and it would be fine. So I'm sure that this is something that's going to be, you know, worked out because uh, currently Llama Index is still in beta inside of Flowwise. And so it just opens up a lot of possibilities for creating these really uh, powerful apps uh, that can use the best of both worlds, you know, combining with Llama Index along with LangChain. Uh, so that's it. I hope you uh, enjoy this. Um, go ahead and test this out and I'll see you in the next video.